Hello, Mr. Morris. My name is Penny Jones. We spoke on the phone yesterday. I'm answering the ad you placed in the newspaper for a professional blogger. Oh, yes, Penny. You used big words on the phone. I like the way you talk. Please come inside. Uh, do you want something to drink? Uh, thank you, but no, I'm fine. Hey. Are you sure? I got some strawberry flavored Pedialyte. Mm. This stuff is amazing. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Um, yeah. Mm. I'm sure. <sighs> I'm gonna have to ask for half the fee up front, Mr. Morris. Oh, yeah, sure thing. I totally understand. A lot of wackos out there. Oh, never know who you can trust these days. Thank you. <laughs> so, what do you want this blog to be about? What do you want to write? Well, you see this black book? I got nearly two dozen crates filled with memories. See, I retired from the force. I gave this city 31 years of service. And now I'd like to share my experiences with the world. You were a cop? Damn right I was. And a good one. <laughs> mm. It's just people don't usually post jobs in the newspaper anymore. Mm? There's websites you can go on now that can handle all that for you. Yeah, well, I've never been too good with the um, techno science. <laughs> it's all magic to me, to be quite honest. <laughs> Sorcery at its highest level. You know Ben Franklin was a witch. I don't think that's accurate. Mm. Oh no? And <laughs> why not? Because Ben Franklin was a man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. I never said he was an attractive witch. He uh, discovered electricity and then uh, the gates of hell were open. Shall we begin with one of your stories? I sure think, Sunshine. Thought you'd never ask. Please don't call me that. <sighs> hmm. You know, I can't start anything without my hat. I received a call about a homicide in a pretty tough area of Los Angeles. had my doubts that this was a homicide. A lot of people slip and fall in the tub. So my gut instinct told me this might have been what happened. Hold on a minute, Mr. Morris. You mean to tell me this woman was showering with a full set of clothes on and she accidentally fell? What about the extension cord wrapped around her neck? Hmm. Yeah, weird, isn't it? I mean, there was an outlet less than a foot away from the tub. Now why would she need an extension cord? I thought the same thing. You have a very intuitive mind, Penny. Can I go on? 
Sure, why not? Even though I had my suspicions, I still had to do a thorough investigation. Cause that's what good detectives do. Right. Listen, Shelly. I know about that night. Margaret told me. You shouldn't have done that to me, Shelly. Now I'm going to make you pay. Message deleted. What? Why in the world would you delete the call, though? Isn't that evidence? Uh, well, that's a big conclusion that most people would have jumped to. You see, the victim's name was Michelle Parsons. The caller called her Shelly. It was clearly a wrong number. Now, where was I? Oh, God. I can't believe what I'm hearing. It gets better. Today is the last day you will breathe air. Love, Tom. My name is Tom, and if you're reading this, that means I killed my stupid, cheating girlfriend. What the hell is wrong with you? Are you sure you don't want one? It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Yes, Mr. Morris, I am sure. Oh, suit yourself. Can we just finish up here? I'm at a loss for words, so I won't even bother to try to unravel your thought process. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> I've been told my thoughts are too profound for many to understand. <laughs> hmm. Now, where were we? The letters. <laughs> right. Uh, just then, I hear the door open. And it's the guy from the photo. Excuse me, sir. This is a crime scene. The area is off limits to the public. Oh, I I'm not the public. I live here. Hmm? I just need to grab my laptop from the bedroom. I, I promise I'll be out in less than two minutes. All right. Of course you let him in. Let me guess, he brought a cleaning crew with him? No, 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 no. It was my new partner, Marcus. I gave him a quick recap of what I found. He asked if he could take a quick look around. I told him it was a waste of time, as this was clearly a slip and fall, as I originally suspected. Have you seen these letters? Thanks for this. You're a lifesaver. Get out of here, kid. It was at that moment when all the pieces came together. Tom was the killer. Ah! You don't say. I'll take it from here. Come on. Wow. Great work, Penny. Really great. Did I tell you I like the way you use words? <laughs> you make me sound like a savant. <laughs> Just like Britain's own Sherlock Holmes. I think I'll have some of this now. Uh, I was thinking more like the Pink Panther. You know, the 
Peter Sellers version. <laughs> Not Steve Martin. Steve Martin's an idiot. Listen, Mr. Morris, I posted this over an hour ago, so you may not receive any feedback right away, mm -hmm. as it'll take time for you to build your own mm -hmm. audience. So let's manage our expectations logically, okay? Sure thing. What's that noise? You got some comments. Let me refresh the page so I can load all of them. Wow. That's a lot of comments. Was that normal? No. No, this is not normal at all. None of this is normal. Mm. They love me. Ha! <laughs> 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 <laughs>